welcome to the San Giorgio in Kefalonia. Look at these views, absolutely stunning. It's a cracking hotel, really, really nice. The place itself is very quiet, very quaint. It's up on a hillside. All the apartments are built in with this wonderful sea view. It's absolutely delightful. These ones have got the infinity pool in front. You can just stroll up there. The sun rises and goes straight over the top. So you've got it all day. Now we had two rooms. This was the pool room. I'll just give you a quick tour around this one. Very nice room. As you go in there, you can see you've got the fan on the ceiling. It's a nice kind of two leveled layout. We've got the beautiful bathroom. All very new. And then we've got the big sliding door there to take us out to the sea view with the little pool outside the room. TV, air conditioning, you name it, it's all in here. Fridge in the cupboard. And then the other room we've got is this one, which is uh, slightly bigger. Um, it's not as new. Very nice though, very clean. Shower, toilet, air dryer, TV, air conditioning, uh, beds and all the rest of it. You've got to walk through the, the door onto a lovely big balcony. And this one had a really good view over a few of the rooms, the gardens below. As you open the door most days, you could always hear the cowbells. There's three or four cows in a hillside paddock and they've got the big bells around the neck and they're just yeah, jingling away. Quite soothing if you like. And as you look then round our big balcony on the side there, which this one is a heck of a size, up to the top you'll see the other room where we uh, had the pool view. This was the way from one room to the other, down a little pathway, up a load of stairs and you, you're in. Now the San Giorgio gives the feeling of total relaxation right from the minute of walking in through the door, it just everything's calm, really nice and relaxed. Really just what we needed, nice break and a, and a super relaxing time. The setting is just delightful. It's up on top of the hill and all the rooms are all built in to the side of the hill coming down. So they've all got this wonderful sea view. It's absolutely beautiful. Now these rooms are fully air conditioned. They've got a ceiling fan as well. It's like a dormer studio kind of layout. It's really, really pretty. These are an extra £11 per person per night. All very new. It looks like they've all just been built quite recently. So everything's quite fresh and tidy. Like I say, as you walk around here, there's loads of gradients. I mean, everything is set up on a hill. You'll see down here, that's a decent view of our pool room there. I mean, in the backdrop is just amazing, look at that. But there's stairs everywhere. So if you are a little bit struggling to you know, climb stairs and stuff, there is a lot to negotiate on every level. You know, getting down to the pool down there, you've got all of those stairs there to get up to the top here. We've got even more stairs. We're going up and down. I'll tell you what, it's a workout for me calves, I don't know that much. I'm gonna be one fit boy by the time I'm done. There are paths that run all the way around the outside of the hotel and they run shuttle buses round if you want one. So if you are struggling a little bit, you can get some assistance. If you've got a motability scooter, you could use the back roads, but they are incredibly steep. So I don't know, it's a bit tricky. Depends how good your brakes are. <laughs> you can hire a car. We've just paid 220 euros for four days. That's through the reception of the hotel using a local company. You can park your car very close to most of the top rooms everyone has almost like a parking space outside so if you can, if you are struggling a little bit on your feet you can get really close the hotel is very very quiet a lovely relaxed atmosphere if that's what you're after if you're wanting a party time this one's not for you it is very quiet not a lot of kids about 
there's not a lot to do for children it's more about relaxation as you can see from the children's playground we've got a few weeds and thistles and that doesn't like it's been used very much and with a view like that that's what you're going to get the food is what you'd expect for fully inclusive no frills no spills very nice straight down the middle as far as i'm concerned we've had really nice meals all the way through but you've got to just you know don't expect too much it's fully inclusive if you want a beautiful gourmet meal then you'll have to go and get yourself down into the town and you know pop into a restaurant if you want decent straight down the line food then this is great lots of local dishes in there and like i say don't put your expectations up too high and you won't be disappointed as you come off the first pool you go into the foyer bar reception area of the hotel you've got the bar downstairs there there's two bars for your all-inclusive drinks and then this is the reception at the front of the hotel from the hotel reception just behind me there a short walk down the road is to a little shingle beach it's in a beautiful little bay so let's have a quick stroll down there and i'll show you where it is so the first thing you come across as you come out of the reception there down them stairs is to the little car park that's the main car park and that's where the kids playground is you can just see that on the on the right hand side there so we make our way down the path it's a nice pedestrian zone at the bottom here out through the gate six minute walk down to the beach or thereabouts and that's roughly where we're heading just over there so we pop out through the gate and this is a nice concrete path all the way up to a big car park and that's where we're going just down there that beautiful turquoise sea it looks gorgeous we just whiz along here into the car park if you've got a high car you could park in here down these steep steps which they are pretty steep and then onto the beach like i say it's a shingle beach and most of the people on here are all from the hotel it's not very big so high season you might be uh, crammed in here a little bit if you were staying at the hotel but it is a lovely place to go snorkeling nice calm waters we even took an inflatable paddle board with us and it was fantastic down here for, say, paddling around. Today's really calm. This, this particular day was a little bit more choppy, but it's still quite calm. Not bad at all. And you'll see as I pan the camera around there, those buildings up on the cliff there, that is where the hotel is, just above those. And this is the, the pathway back up. You can see it's quite steep. Get them calves working again. If you got fed up of the beach down this end, you could get the bus, the hotel layer on every day down to Scala, and that's on regular intervals. So you're never kind of tied down to the hotel. Right, let's give you a quick tour of the hotel. We're going to whiz around the whole thing and I'll uh, try and point everything out to you. So as you come down from the top room, down this path, you come to the restaurant entrance there, and this is the first pool. This is the adult pool. Plenty of bedding, seats and chairs to sit and have a drink. You've got the pool bar in front of you there and then there's also the bar in the reception foyer just there to the right hand side. So you're not going to be queuing for very long for any drinks. And then we'll make our way up this path past the pool bar. Serving all your local drinks uh, on the fully inclusive. Any cocktails and stuff were all chargeable. And then as we just turn around the corner here on the left hand side you've got the uh, little pool food snack bar for lunchtime if you didn't want to go to the restaurant and this opens up then into a nice seated area with wicked views over the sea on the right hand side and two pools you've got a, a, a larger pool on the left and then a, a high up pool there was a very shallow kids pool attached to this one just in front of us there you've got a massage parlor up there as well on the left hand side and all the rooms above we've got toilets as well down here so everything you need for a nice relaxing afternoon, morning in the sunshine. The pool is deep, it's nearly two metres. It's not a, um, a shallow gradient going in, it is pretty deep. As you're walking around the grounds, you can't help but feel the relaxation. It's such a nice, calm environment. All the pathways are all surrounded by these fruit trees. You've got the oranges and the lemons. All the gardens are well maintained. We've got the gardeners walking around, cleaning and sweeping and pruning all day long.
So the only bit we've not covered is from the main pool going down to the little games area. You've got table tennis, you've got pool tables. And if you just come out and go down the path, you've got on the left hand side, just by the gate here, the tennis courts. Which are quite nicely kept. If you fancy a game. As we come up the road, there's another car park. And then this will take us back up to the high pools. And we've got a nice raised grass terrace area here. With even more sun beds. So there wasn't any shortage of the beds at all. There was loads and loads of room. Now one thing I have to mention is about the cats. There were cats everywhere. The hotel were real cat lovers. They would put dishes of food out for them, allow them into the restaurants. They were under the tables, climbing up onto your legs. Um, they were everywhere, all over the hotel. They would try and keep them away from the food, but um, obviously it was inevitable that they would always grab a little bit every now and again. But they were always playful, rolling around on the on the verandas, climbing on the, the walls. Um, it was nice though, nice to see them all out in their kind of natural environment having a bit of fun. We've had a fantastic time at the San Giorgio. If you want a nice holiday, if you want somewhere decent to stay, then I can't recommend this one enough for a beautiful, relaxing time. It's absolutely spot on. If you've enjoyed the video, just drop me a little thumbs up, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Just across from the hotel, there's this old gate leading to a path with no name. I thought I'd have a little look down here because it looked interesting. A once loved path, you can see it had a bit of a uh, bit of work put into it, nicely paved down, but all overgrown, so not in use really anymore. But I was thinking, could this be a little gem? So if there's the official beach of the hotel, what we looked at earlier, and this bit here, it's lovely. You can see all the rocks under the water there for the snorkeling. Beautiful clear waters. This old fence though is um, absolutely had it. It's destroyed. Hence they're not sending you down here anymore. But if you're careful and you're a bit of a climber, this rickety old bridge is really rotten. And all the planks were wobbly on it, but somebody look has made the effort and gone down there. So I thought, mm, okay, is it worth walking on this? Oh, it's a bit wobbly. <laughs> the good old storm's been and hit this hard and destroyed it. It's obviously been there for a few years. There's no way off the end though, you've got to really climb down there, it's a bit tricky. I thought I'd give that a miss because I've got my flip flops on. That's about a six foot drop off the end. But the bay there is lovely. So if you are a snorkeler or you fancy a little bit of a private beach where not many people are going to go, just off the opposite the hotel, this might be a, a cheeky little find. Look at the water though, it's gorgeous. You can see how rotten that bridge is. I'll leave you with these wonderful views. Thanks for watching.